Savage Finance. Because it's a jungle out there that wants your money. Here I will teach you how to manage the jungle and make it out. Welcome to another edition of Savage Finance where I'm going to explain to you velocity banking in plain English. There are a lot of videos about velocity banking on YouTube and all of them, a lot of them use the same example and it gets a little confusing and people not believe into it. Velocity banking is a solid financial principle used the savage finance way because we're going to dive into that. If this is your first time here, what I want you to do is go below and get 30 days to 2500. It is a free money making course to teach you how to start your side business and put some more money in your life and also get the hustler's mindset pimping your mind for success. Go ahead and grab those dudes. One of the things that I want you to understand is it's all about interest. Let's say you use velocity banking to pay off your mortgage. You have to understand how these mortgages are constructed. The mortgage is constructed with all of the interest at the front of the loan. So the first 10, 15 years you're paying on your mortgage, you're paying majority of your payment goes toward interest. And this is where velocity banking comes in. Let's say you have a mortgage. It's $250,000. That's the principal. And then with the interest, you could literally pay $500,000, $600,000. So what you do is you take a credit product. You take a HELOC, or if you have high enough credit cards, what you do is take that money and you do a principal payment on your mortgage. Let's say your mortgage is 250 and you have a HELOC of $25,000. What you will do is take that $25,000 HELOC apply that to the principal of your mortgage. So that's going to reduce your mortgage to 225 and that's going to dramatically lower the interest that you pay. And then what you're going to do is reorganize your finances where you could pay off this $25,000 HELOC really quickly. Then you're going to take the HELOC and apply it to your mortgage again. So now you were at 225, you take the 25,000, like say six months later, and then you take the two, the 25, now your mortgage is 200,000. And you wash and rinse and repeat over a period of five or six years, and this will make you debt free from your mortgage. You can do this with any interest, front interest loan. Cause see, this is what kills you. When you buy a car, the first three years is nothing but interest. Very little goes to the principal of the car. So if you were to try to pay off your car early, you want to apply additional principal payments early in the loan really early the earlier the better you know your first two years if you can make additional payments to the principal and this is how you do this and you know we're going to talk about how to literally set velocity banking on fire because what is the holdback here to velocity banking the lever is your income the lower your income the harder it is to do and if you have bad credit you're not going to be able to get access to these credit products which you can conduct velocity banking so i'm about to tell you a little secret that's going to set your velocity on fire remember that course 30 days 2500 that i gave you to you this is what you're going to do because th this is one of the things that so many people are trying to create economic freedom with a stagnant static income one of the things that we do here at Savage Finance is we push on you, we, we bully you, we talk about it, we, we make fun of you, we mock you to make more income. Because let's say you and your wife, you together make $65,000 a year and you have 200, let's say $300,000 worth of debt. And you're gonna try to take this $60,000, even using Velocity Banking, it's gonna take you five to 10 years to get out of debt. Now. If we add the element of additional income, this is a game changer. This totally changes the pictures. So let's say you and your wife, you start a side business and you and your wife make an additional $2,500 per month from your side business. That's $30,000 a year. This sets your velocity banking on fire because once again, I don't think a lot of people explain that you have to have good credit to use these credit products to set off your velocity banking. So. If you are have bad credit, what you would do is take this additional income and you would do credit repair and get your credit to like a 720, 740, 
700, you could pretty much get any of these products, HELOCs, uh, high limit credit cards. There's a video on here that teaches you how to get super credit. Be sure to check that out. One of the things that I want you guys to understand is reason that velocity banking is so popular is it teaches you how to accelerate debt payments, but if you have limited income or low income, it's gonna be hard to achieve velocity banking. And I think this is something that many of these videos leave out because it sounds good in theory, but you've gotta come up with the money because the, the examples that are presented talk about you make it 65,000, you save 1,400. Very few people are saving $1,400 a month. Let's just keep it above. Very, very few people are. But what will happen is if you do velocity banking and you increase your income, then you throw that additional income at the credit products that you're using to conduct velocity banking, then it becomes way more workable and easier to do and easier to get out of debt. Because this is one of the things, you know, debt, debt's a bad, it's a four letter word around here, it's a bad, bad word. And what I want you to do is to understand the concept of velocity banking, which is just making strong, big payments on the principal of your debt to dramatically reduce the interest that you pay on your debt and therefore you can get out of debt much quicker. You know, taking the HELOC example, and you're, you're gonna have to have really good credit and you're gonna have to have equity in your home to get a HELOC. This is one of the little nasty little details that a lot of people don't talk about. So you're gonna need all of that to launch the velocity banking. But part of your financial war chest should be a small business. I don't care if you love your job, keep your job. I, I will never tell anyone to quit their job, but to really ratchet up velocity banking where you can start to use money more than once. You can use a dollar two, three, four times with velocity banking. And this is, you know, cause what I'm teaching you is gonna set your velocity banking on fire. Now also let's talk about the proper money management techniques. What do we say around here? You should have a long-term emergency fund. You should have a short-term emergency fund. You should have a family operating account. If you have that, velocity banking is gonna be really, really easy for you to pull off because you're gonna have full control of your money. But if you are sitting there struggling and you have no financial discipline, velocity banking is gonna be really, really hard because you're gonna need, let me, let me just be honest with you, you're gonna need big boy credit products. You're gonna need a 20 to $40,000 HELOC. You're gonna need 15 to $20,000 credit limit cards. That's what you're gonna to need to start playing the velocity banking game. But one of the things that we teach you here at Savage Finance is do not become a part of the great American credit indoctrination syndrome because what happens is you become addicted to using credit to fund your lifestyle. And this is why that you know things like velocity banking, infinite banking are so popular because people are so loaded up with debt that they, they, they can barely make it. Every day is horrible because they have so much debt. The reason I'm doing this video about velocity banking is there are, there are many of you who are watching this channel and you are a victim of the great American credit indoctrination syndrome. You have been hooked line and sinker. You've got car payments, you have student loan payments, you have credit card payments, and you may have a mortgage payment. So you got all of these payments, you have all of these debts, and it's just this endless cycle of debt because each time you, you want something, you put it on the credit card and you don't use cash. And I'm here to try to change that for you. But that's just an overview of velocity banking, how you can use velocity banking to pay off debt quickly. And if you follow the savage finance manner, you will pay this debt off much quicker by creating additional income. This is the do more principle. I know a lot of people are not really feeling the do more principle because in this age of you get a stimulus check, you get a stimulus check, that people are looking for safe havens in areas that there is no safe haven. So what I want for you guys to understand is velocity banking can be a valuable asset to your financial war chest if you are in a lot of debt. So take my example here, go ahead, create additional income and apply the concept, which at its core, all velocity banking is, is just putting big chunks of cash money down 
on debt to reduce the interest. That, that's, that's velocity banking in a nutshell. And then you get to use this money several times over because let's say you have a dollar. You use your credit card money. You use your credit card money to pay off a bill. Then you take your whole check and you put it on that credit card. Then you keep using that credit card to pay off bills. And what happens is you, you, you're putting your whole check on the credit card. So this actually each month, you do it correctly. Each month you go down, whatever your check is, then you go up a little bit and you use it a little bit. And each month you put your check down there and each month the credit card balance goes down. Six months to 12 months, you will have no credit card debt if you do it the correct way. And then you just repeat this cycle with each form of debt. And literally you could be debt free in two to three years. However, if you practice the savage finance way of creating additional income, you could be debt free much, much quicker. So you've got the velocity banking concept, which is a valid concept, which will help you out. And then you have the savage finance way, which is to create additional income to throw at this debt and then to take the money management course, the links below, which is going to help you optimize your finances because the money management course is going to take you way beyond velocity banking because it's going to teach you how to use your income as a lever. See, everything that we do, the average person makes 1.4 million lifetime if they get to an income of $35,000 per year and keep that for 40 years and make one point. So everything you do, all the cars you buy, the houses you buy, everything you do, you do out of that 1.4 million. Let's say you turn that 1.4 million to 3 million. It's a whole different party. The disco ball drops down and you're doing the, the Saturday night boogie. It's a whole different party because this is one of the things I want to get you guys to understand. When you do more, when you serve your fellow man, because right now we're, we're having the 30 days to $2,500 challenge, which is essentially you, you it's webinars that will I will answer all your questions. You can go ahead and get that because I'm going to switch this up a little bit. But one of the things I want you to understand is the do more principle and velocity banking and proper money management can literally change your financial life. It can literally give you a better opportunity for you to be financially free. Let, let's talk about the do more principle. Keep your job. I know many people have fantasies of quitting their job. I hate my job. I want to be my own man. I want to be free. I want to do what I want to do in time. That can be your life. But right now, you got to play the game. You got to do what you need to do to get to that level because there's levels to this thing. So I don't want you quitting your job. I want you to create additional income, take your job income, properly optimize your job income, take this additional income, properly optimize that, and then you start living the life you want. I mean, how many of you would like to have $100,000 cash in the bank? I know that sounds fantastical, but if you make the income, and income's a big part of it. This is something that is not really talked about in personal finance. You know, it's like, hey, maybe do a little side hustle here. Income, if you have low income, income is gonna be a big constituent of you doing better and having a more sustainable financial life. Because 52% of the people in America make less than $33,000 a year. So that, that's over half the country has low income. And that's a problem because low income limits the things you can do. Low income limits your options. Low income makes it hard for you to pay off debt really fast. It really does. So what I want you guys to do is to have a mindset adjustment that I'm going to make more money. I'm going to take care of the money I already have, and I'm going to optimize my money. And one of the first places you can get that is go below, get the money management course and begin to go through that process and then build your side business. I'm giving you 30 days to 2,500 free so you can start working on your side business to create additional income so you can escape the great American credit indoctrination syndrome where your next car, after you go through these things, you will pay cash for your next car. And really, if you get your game really tight, you'll be paying cash for your next house. I want you to think, I want you to just sit back, I want you to close your eyes, I want you to imagine, what would it be like you find the house that you like 
and you just go to your bank and pull out the money and close this house in 10 days and you buy it. And the minute you move in, your house is paid for. I want you to think, how would that feel? I mean, just getting to the point where you can pay cash for cars, that's a big, big step. But I want you to just close your eyes. And what I'm teaching you, if you're willing to do the work, if you're willing to start a side business, if you're willing to amp up your income, this can become a serious reality in your life within the next 10 years. I want you to think about that. Next 10 years, debt free, car payment free, mortgage free. What would that do for your life? Think about it. And then watch this next video here because it's good for you. You should watch these videos. And if this is your first time here, what I want you to do is go to the front of the channel and begin to watch all of the videos from the beginning up to now so you can get your financial education because it's going to help you. This is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. I will see you guys in the next video.